All right, guys. Guy manages to escape police three times in one day. Three times in eight days. Sorry. Let's check it out. This guy's a another track star. It seems, bro. I mean, what the heck? Let's see. On October 15th, 2022, officers were on foot patrol when they observed a male subject standing in front of a bar in La Crosse, Wisconsin. All right. But Police were familiar with the male from prior contacts and knew he had a suspended driving stat. Yeah, bro. They already know who it is, man. They already know who it is. As well as a bond condition to not be in any bars or taverns. The male Damn, bro, that's an interesting bar bond condition, guys. What? No bars, no... Like male was identified as 27-year-old Larry Baldwin Jr. As the officers were near Larry's vehicle, they observed him get into the driver's seat and leave. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like they let him go right there. They stopped that Buick. No lights out on third, it's Larry driving. Not trying to be the guy they, they know about. You know what I mean? Like Larry appeared to be traveling at a high rate of speed without any lights on. When a traffic stop was initiated, he pulled over briefly, but then took off rapidly. Third and Cameron, Wisconsin, Adam King Frank, 5827. Adam King Frank, 5827. Damn, bro. You just had a change of heart right there, guys. What a foolish thing. Guys, it's a felony to do that, man. It's a felony to do that. What's wrong with this guy, man? Idiot. The vehicle's taken off. Southbound on third. Due to safety concerns, the officer decided not to pursue him. Four days later, police observed a vehicle commonly... Hey, that happens, you know, quite often. And I mean, guys... ...driven by Larry in an alley. Upon approach, the officers know... There he is in the same vehicle. Now they know who it is, bro. They're playing the low and slow game, guys. Like... Notice Larry in the driver's seat, and he quickly put the car in gear, again fleeing at a high rate. When he lives in the same town, it's pretty easy for them to find him, guys, you know? Now, now they're just going to alert every, every officer that, you know, this guy's, you know, wants it, I guess. Rate of speed. 7th of May. Stop! 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 Stop right now! Stop! And at least he's obeying traffic laws right there, guys. I mean, he didn't hit anybody with his car. And he had his gun pointed, guys. He still didn't stop, man. He's leaving out the alley on 7. That's bold, bro. I'd be pretty scared if I had a gun pointed at me like that. I knew somebody was going to go pull the hard work, so I had to jump in the car and, yeah. Another felony, felony fleeing. Yep. Another four days later. Then another one, guys. Later, police were dispatched to a bar for trouble with a party call. As officers arrived, they saw... Not call of duty like this, guys. ...saw several people screaming and yelling outside. They also recognized Larry, and another male began walking away. Arrest me. What for? I don't know. Ask the guy who's recording me for no reason. No. You're standing out in public. For what? That's an interesting thing to tell a police officer, man. Why is that? That happened last time in a video I think we watched yesterday, guys. Literally. So, what are you walking towards him for? Whoops, Officer Graves. Why are you walking towards him? Like, I'm the one nope. who's talking. Oh, no, I'm, sorry. I'm not Officer Graves. Due to Larry having pending felony charges from the last few weeks, they approached him. Dang, are they actively looking for the guy? Come talk to me for a second. We got a call here at the Old South. Well, you guys yelling at someone and... I'm not yelling at nobody. I'm not in my business. Mind his business, guys. Okay. Larry, I gotta talk to you, man. That's not even my name, bro. Come over here right now. You're being detained. You're being detained. Oh, what? 
I gotta do Bro, they're actively trying trying to find the guy, man. All you had to do is comply the first time, guys. Let's see how long he spends in in jail for this. Talk to you. Come here. Come here. This, this guy is taking uncooperative to uh, new heights, man. Look, he's ready to run. Stop your knee, it's headed. Yeah, bro, he, he, he straight up tripped. Hey. Oh. Get on the ground now. Stop now. Come on. Come on. Hey, bro, I'm sure he's a little bit tired after, after that scuffle, man. Taser also didn't hit. Or he did, but he might have just tanked it. He's running off the fifth, white shirt, black pants. As the officers pursued him on foot, Larry ran back to his vehicle and got into the driver's seat. This is the third time he's escaped. <laughs> Third time he's escaped uh, in his vehicle, guys. Stop! Stop, player! Stop! 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 I wonder, I wonder who, who, who the ones are that are yelling to stop to him, or which, what side they are on, guys. Hey, stop! Stop! stop. Can you answer that for me comfortably? Can any of you answer that? Why are you targeting him? No, he does not have. And he straight up shot the taser as soon as he took off, guys. What the heck? You guys have saw that. He has no warrants. He has nothing. Why the f are you guys attacking him? I'm the reason you guys have got called because, because he was he recording is, me. He has okay, nothing to do with that. S what the f is wrong with you guys? You quiet you go to jail. Arrest me, please. Because what the f is that? I'm just saying. What the f, yo? Sounds like he had warrants. He didn't, though. Well, we, we have felony charges. <laughs> have felony charges For what? I don't know. Dang, bro. The, he's like on his side, but she she's saying how he, that guy was recording him. What the heck? Multiple oh, incidents. For what? Can you guys list any of the felony charges before you attack another felony person? Felony fleeing, second degree reckless. Okay, now it is. Safety. No, oh, answer what? Ball, can you, okay, please, I'm not trying to be a psycho. I'm just saying, can you guys please tell me why you attacked that male? Out of all this situation, you guys come here and you attack him for what? We're not going to talk to you. You're not? No. For what? 75 status. You're not going to talk to me? Wow, how can you not? Hey, bro, she's straight up defending him, guys. They're, they're just like, yo, move along now, move along. Straight up d demanded to be arrested as soon as they saw her, guys. Like, what is going on, man? We have charges on him. You guys literally got told because that guy was recording me. Me. Are you guys people, people can record in public. People record us all the time. Okay, it's not a crime record. Oh, okay. No, how they know it was him, guys? That is so, so she's the one who called the cops on him, guys. Do we need to talk to Bill or no? I haven't talked to him yet. That is sad. Gotta call him. That is hey, bro. He escaped two of them, guys. Two of them. He, and he's still staying in the same city, I guess, or the same, like, county, I guess. She got away this time. I don't know what her problem is. I just pulled uh, up. Listen, man, because you got people talking right here. Yeah. Dude took, started making, saying this. Yep, yep. Well, we heard that's why we were here, is he was recording, so, so she called he was us. recording people. Recording. Yep. That's one. That's 
violation. That's a violation. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. It's not, though. But at the same time... He's saying it's not, guys. I'm violating somebody's privacy recording. But you're on a public space. Yeah. There's no law against that. There's no law against it. I understand that. So we couldn't do but, anything about it, but, but we could just tell him to stop. When they asked him to stop, kept on... Because then, he was screaming. It's no, first, first it was like this, normal. I, mean, I wonder why he's recording while well wanted by them guys for evading. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why, guys. He's taking something that wasn't a big deal, turning it into a huge deal. So, but Larry's got a bunch of charges. So that officer tried to arrest him, and he obviously got away. Moments later, his vehicle was located unoccupied and crashed. Witnesses stated they saw a male flee from the car. Yeah, what's, uh, what, okay. what happened? We were in our apartment down there and we heard squealing. We were about to leave to go hiking and we saw yeah, this car. Yeah, might have been passed out or something. So we were like, That's there might be a medical emergency okay. and we just walked over there. So I yeah, this car just took off from a fight down there at Old Style oh, Inn. So obviously shit. he crashed into this thing. Yeah. yeah, we just heard the crash. Dang, bro, he's crashing as well, man. He must be on something. I don't know, man, guys. He's gone? No one, you guys didn't see him take off? No, we didn't see anybody right. take off. 39, he crashed down here. He's gone on foot somewhere. I was getting gas and I heard somebody squealing, so I don't know if he came out of here or what. People eating tasty animals. What the heck? <laughs> Interesting shirt to say the least, guys. I looked up and he hit the pole. Yeah. And then he took off. Took off running that, that way. way. Right. It was a colored guy. Yeah. Six foot. All black or? Oh, white shirt. A black, white shirt. Yeah. He tried to. Hey, that that fits the description of what we just saw, right, guys? Take off with it and it just revved up and he yeah. kept moving. Yeah. So, tires of toast on it. Yeah. He saw him crash into this pole here, okay. and then he just took off running. White shirt. Front this way. Yeah. Just a white shirt now. White shirt, I think. Yeah, that's what he said. It's running. It's open. So I mean, it's search. It's abandoned. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. Well, there's blood on there. Careful. And there he is, guys. Seriously, took off this. Yeah, it looks like he fell pretty hard when the cops tried to get him, right, guys? This way? Yeah, he went running northbound. Just pulling in. Just <laughs> got some little day trade action, and I heard taser deployed, and so that's not good to eat a clock on Sunday. Looks like uh, towards uh, through the lot of one uh, Wells Fargo, possibly. Oh, you must have been following the mail. Yeah, you can, well, you see the marks here. Yeah. <laughs> What's uh, up? So Larry Baldwin's driving this? Allegedly. What he happened? smoked his tires, what happened? His, here's a chunk of his rim. <laughs> Caught up, he's holding on to him, trying to get him to the ground. And I just about had him. Got this guy's doing whatever he can to evade them, bro. It wasn't even that. It wasn't even that, like, uh... Urgent for them to get him at the start, guys, but... Lose. So I pulled out the tasers right at this, and he tased at the same time. Wasn't that, that that big of a deal, but then he just keep, keeps trying to escape. It hit his shirt. His shirt was I think I got hanging. one prong out of Yeah. Okay. And then he right had him again. Now what is he going to do? Now he, he has like a home and everything, guys. Or he lives somewhere. They probably got his address. Or he's just been like living in his car. I don't know, guys. And, and I was coming up and I tripped in the tomato plants. Took a digger. <laughs> yeah. Then he gets in the car. Then he got in the car. The and he started like, yeah. Because at that time, we, neither one of us had a cartridge. Almost a month later, La Crosse police were informed that Larry had been arrested by Wisconsin State Patrol in Monroe County on his warrant. He was then extradited back to La Crosse County Jail. So, yeah, we could take... Hey, bro got extradited. That, that's how you know he's, he's facing some charges here. Already in his jumpsuit. That'd be cool if we saw had the arrest footage, but we don't. Yeah. What? Yeah, I, oh, I have to read you this sheet, but we can go into the interview room and then we can go from there. So. About what? Wait, well, we'll, yeah, we'll just go. That make me feel real uncomfortable what's going on. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used to in court. You have the right to talk uh, to a lawyer before questioning and have the lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, a lawyer will be appointed for you uh, without charge prior to any questioning. If you decide to answer questions at this time, you can stop at any time during the questioning. Do you understand these rights if I read them to you? Yes. I need a verbal yes, man. 
Wait. Do you understand he's right to write revenue? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, having. Dang, bro. He's like, dang, I'm screwed, bro. I'm in a jumpsuit. I'm probably going. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna be locked up all for this. Those rights and mind you wish to answer any questions I may have for you at this time. This okay. Is the yes. So I, I, I need a yes or no on that last question. Having these rights in mind, are you willing to answer any questions I have right now? Is it regarding an investigation with you taken off from some of our officers? Take, oh, that's not an Come on, we talk, man. Put that piece of paper. Talk. What's up? Okay. Having these rights in mind, are you willing to answer any questions I have at this point? Man, look, I know my law, all that. Who did you guys think I ran home from? It's just like, like, I, 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 like, fleeing. Like, what? Like, what do you got? Like, what do you guys want from me, bro? Okay. Why do you guys so, like All right. Me? So, right now, it sounds like based on the initial reports, um, taken off from our officers three times that they tried to talk with you. Um, so pretty, you pretty, and pretty recklessly because multiple officers were able to identify you. Yeah. Oh, oh. Guys, he abandoned his car, bro. Did they like impound it or something? They must have. I don't think he went back and got it. They found him a month later. Where, where, this guy's been like on the run or like doing, I don't know how he survived. Because they saw you. So. All of these charges, what were you guys' proper cause for trying to come up to the person you saying that's me? What? Like, why? What are you got? Like, for real? You're like, it's like since I moved back out here, I'm not stupid. I know me and my dad, I dealt with my dad. I don't sell drugs. I don't have to follow me. You too. You too. I didn't send you like, why do y'all bother me, bro? Y'all don't have no drugs. Y'all trying to get any little thing just because y'all couldn't get my dad? Don't look at me like that. Answer, like, talk. You ask me questions, I should be able to ask you. You're a public servant, you're an agent, uh, officer. Why, like, why y'all keep harassing me? For what? Y'all don't have it's on me. Okay. Well, this is just from the other officers. Bro, report. answer my question. Don't you want me to answer yours, bro? Like, come on, we grown as hell. Okay. All right. Let's just exactly. Anyway. Exactly. All right. Exactly. So I just want you to know what the charges are, Larry. Exactly. So. You want to answer you a question, bro? You don't want to answer my question back? You're supposed to be a public servant. Hey bro, he's still arg he's arguing with them. I guess he he does want to be there for sure. So, all right. Yeah, we. Yeah, it might be a. Yeah, you give us a little bit. So. Of course they have to leave. Close doors. You can steal us and get this off. Don't try to harass somebody else, and they gonna get away on y'all last two. Larry was charged with felony counts of vehicle fleeing, eluding an officer, times three. Second degree recklessly endangering safety, times three. Dang, bro. Times three? Times two. Misdemeanor counts of resisting, obstructing an officer, and bail jumping, times three. He received several citations totaling over $2,000. Larry's attorney asked the court that he be released on a signature bond since he turned himself in voluntarily. The judge rejected the request stating Larry showed a gross lack of respect for the community while fleeing. And Another bond, guys, after... ...at his cash bond at $10,000. Head over to Code Blue... My dude is running like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a law that has to dictate there's a screaming woman at every police encounter that takes place. Okay, okay. Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe, check out the original video description. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, guys, what, what, what was... I was good at it, like, I'm good at running, I don't know guys. Peace out.